it's Millie and thank you guys for jumping into the Nook Realm. Today we're going to be doing a book tag video. So for today's book tag video, I'm going to be doing Do You Own That Trope Book Tag Challenge in which I'm going to pick one book that fits the tropes that are on this list from my bookshelf. And then the two rules is that I can only pick one book per trope challenge prompt and the second rule is that if I don't have a book to fit this trope I have to add a minute to my total time because of course this is going to be timed and I have to try to do it as fast as possible. <laughs> so I'm not going to be giving any synopsis of these books I'm just going to let you know if it has the trope in the book. So yeah I don't know how well this is going to work because there's a lot of unread books on this shelf, so I don't know if they fit the trope or not. And then also I tend to panic when I'm timed, so let's see how well this works. Alright, I'm going to set my timer and let's go. Okay, first prompt, love triangle. Okay, for that I have Girl, Sorp, and Thorn. It has a love triangle. Okay, book number two, Enemies to Lovers. I have a lot of those because I love Enemies to Lovers. Um, of course, now I can't think of any. Oh, okay. It's a sequel, but Daughter of the Siren Queen, Enemies Lovers. Okay, book number three, The Chosen One Trope. Oh, I love that trope, actually. Let's go with Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Um, okay, prompt number four, Found Family. I also really love that trope, and if I owned Six of Crows, that's what I would have picked. Um, but I'm going to go with C, Steel Tide. No, I want the first book. <laughs> C Fire, Found Family. Okay, book number five, Grey Morality, in which... Characters are questionable. Oh, definitely gonna go with this one if I can pick it up. We have Force of a Thousand Lanterns. Okay, number six is games, competitions, tournaments. And for that, I'm gonna go with Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. Okay, number seven is Sibling Rivalry, which I just did Three Dark Crowns! <laughs> and that would have fit perfectly for it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with... A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. It is a tournament, but it's two sisters fighting against each other. Okay, book number eight, which is Revenge Plot. I'm going to go with... What am I going to go with? <laughs> revenge Plot. Revenge. Revenge. I mean, I think I'll just go with the OG Revenge book, which is The Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, book number nine is Here Comes the Calvary. And I think I'm going to go with the OG example, which is... Lord of the Rings, um, specifically the two towers with the battle at the end. Ooh, okay, book number 10 is The Dark Lord. Um, for this, I'm gonna go with, if I can even take it out, I'm gonna just grab the box set. Okay, we're gonna go with The Final Empire, Mistborn, first book, just grabbing the box set. <laughs> book number 11 is The Orphan Protagonist. That's a lot of these as well. I'm gonna go with The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. Okay, book number 12 is The Quest. The characters are going on a quest, which should also be a lot of these. I'm going to go with Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. Okay, book number 13 is Friends to Lovers, which Shadow and Bone would have fit perfectly for that. <laughs> I don't do a lot of Friends to Lovers. Um, uh, Friends to Lovers. Friends to Lovers. <laughs> Do I have any? Crap. Um. Friends to lovers, friends to lovers. Okay, I'm gonna do Tweet Cute, which is kind of cheating because they start off as strangers, then become friends, then become enemies, then go back to being friends, then become lovers. But there's friends to lovers at some point in this book. Okay, number 14, we have the book loving character. Oh, I know the perfect one for that is. Oh! Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I dropped everything. She loves books. She works at a magic book library. Okay. Uh, okay, number 15, a character that suffers from amnesia. Do I have one of those? Um, not that I've read. Oh, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Yes. Okay, magic school. Magic school. Um, do I have a magic school? That's not magic. That's not magic. 
That's not magic either. That's kind of magic, but not really. Ah, magic school, magic school, magic school. No, I don't have any for this. I'm going to have to add a minute. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, number 17, the bad boy character. Ooh, we love this. Okay, Hamlet, you can't get up right now. I'm in the middle of doing a book tag. Bad boy, bad boy. Um, I know I have books. Bad boy. Um, um, okay, I don't have anything for bad boys, so I'm just going to have to add an extra minute. Let's see what the next one is. Um, resurrection, a character that comes back from the dead. Binti. Not much else to say other than that. Um, okay, redemption arc. Character who was bad and then is good and is redeemed and... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Empire Storms, Lorcan. Okay, last one for 20 is Forbidden Love, Romance. Ooh, I definitely have those. Oh, 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 I know, I know. Let's do The Rage of Dragon by Evan Winter. Ah, okay, that's it. Time. <laughs> Let's see what I did. Okay, I did six minutes and a half, but I have to add an extra two minutes because of the two books that I missed. So eight minutes and 30 seconds. Exactly. I'm so tired. I'm tired and sweating. I'm slightly out of breath. Yeah, no endurance whatsoever. <laughs> Let me show you guys my book stack because it is insane. So these are all the books that I just pulled off the shelf that I'm going to have to put back on for this challenge video. And there's Senor Brownie taking a nap. Oh my lord. Okay, and my light is leaving me because it is becoming afternoon. But yes, that was my Do I Have That Trope book tag challenge video. I hope you guys enjoyed me scrambling around for books. Um, I'm not going to give full synopsis of all the books I pulled because that is 20 books and I have to put them all back anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see me do some more book tag videos in the future, please make sure to leave that down in the comments below. Um, yeah, give me a likes, a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed me scrambling around my bookshelves. And if you guys are enjoying my bookish content, please make sure to subscribe for some more. I'm Millie. Thank you guys for jumping into the Nook Realm. Bye!